Hello my friends, Paul here in the Rojobi Music Workshop and welcome to part 11 of the Japanese Sanshin Shamisen Build Project. Okay, so uh, in a previous episode I was just, um, you know, te testing the, the or one string on each of the instruments. Uh, found that the Shamisen, the bigger one with the big thick top, was just too quiet. So that's going to have um, a thin top on it, like this one for the Sanjin. And uh, okay, so off camera, um, I've done all the sanding right up to 1500 grit on the body and on the neck. So the next stage now is to apply the boiled linseed oil, the finish. Boiled linseed oil. Okay, so what I've done uh, before that is I've plugged up the holes. You can see there and there and the uh, tuning peg holes as well but not not the peg box because I want to oil inside there now I've plugged up the holes with plasticine um, because you I can sort of get it right into the corners and, and the nooks and crannies and you know get it all to really sort of seal up nicely um, you know, if I was to use like tissue or something like that, um, it's just going to absorb, the oil's just going to absorb into it and it's not going to actually mask it off properly. So I've, I've used plasticine. I'm hoping that that will, you know, stop it from seeping into the holes because I don't want it on the inside of any of the holes where, you know, it's friction fit. So, as I said, that's, that's these two holes for the, for the shaft and the, um, tuning peg holes <laughs> but not the peg box I, I want to oil inside there okay so this is a fairly quick and simple process so um, I'll just uh, crack on with it just angle the camera down a bit not too much uh, oh that's too much <laughs> and then zoom in a little okay so my trusty boiled linseed oil couple of rags, get the ruler out of the way. <coughs> okay, oh, I, I shouldn't, I should have uh, masked off the slot where the uh, nut goes as well. Let me just do that quickly now with this bit of plasticine. Uh, so I just want to kind of make a sausage. Um, wedge it in there because I don't want to get any oil in the... Oh, in the slot where the nut goes, um, you know, where, whether I leave it friction fit or glue it in, it's not going to work if there's oil in there. So let me just fill that in, sort of, kind of. Okay. Just pull that bit off the end, don't need that. Okay. So, you know, this plasticine is, is really easy to, you know, manoeuvre into the holes and, and to get it to um, take up all the gaps, all the little edges and nooks and crannies. And hopefully it should be relatively oil proof. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if it doesn't work, and on the next one I'll try something else. But it, it should do. It should do, should do the job. I want to make sure I you know, clear the edges, because I do want to oil as much of it as possible, but not actually in the slot. So, should be okay. Just flatten that down a bit. Alright, I think that should be good. Just, uh, just flatten it down a bit more, make sure it's well into that slot, but not overlapping the edge. Right, I think we're good there. Okay, let's get rid of that plasticine. Okay, so on rag, off rag. So regular viewers of mine will have seen me do this many times uh, with the boiled linseed oil. It's such a quick, easy, simple way of finishing uh, wood. So I'm going to do the whole of the neck and the headstock, but not the shaft, okay? I'm going to leave that as is. Um, okay, I might just do the tip of it, I don't know yet. 
Okay, so I'm going to apply two coats. Okay, so I'll start with the fingerboard, fretboard, call it what you like. It's not a fretboard because there's no frets on it. Fingerboard. That's, that's actually taken quite a lot of oil. So it's definitely going to need two coats or two applications, not really a coat. Oh, see, I've moved that plasticine already. So, you know, as, I, as I've said before, I consider the boiled linseed oil to be a nice finish. Uh, it really makes the, the grain and pattern of the wood pop. And it's quick and simple, which I like. <laughs> I mean, sure, the painting, varnishing, lacquering, all that kind of thing looks better, gives you a more durable finish, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> I do like the finish of boiled linseed oil. Always have. Ever since the first time I used it, I thought, oh yeah, that's the way to go. It's quite difficult getting into the bottom round edge. It's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, this plasticine idea is not working great, to be honest, because every time I go over it, I just kind of rub some of it out and then it's all over the wood. So I might use a different method next time, not sure yet. See how it goes. Again, it's, you know, this plasticine is just, just a quick and easy way to do it. It's, it's all right. If I'm careful when I go over the bits that have got the plasticine in them, it's okay. So the back of the neck, the back and sides of the neck, down to the heel. Nice. Right in that corner, back it, back edge of it as well. That's all right. Okay. Oh, missed a bit there on the side. Missed quite a bit there. It's quite hard to tell because the, the coloration of this wood seems to change from one, pli one place to another. Okay, so I'll wipe off the excess now. Definitely is going to need two applications. Okay, so that's finished up rather nice. Okay, just put that to one side and do the body. I had already applied to the sides before, but because I've, you know, reworked it and sanded it many times, it will need another coat, another application. I keep saying coat. Yeah, that's good. Right, I'm going to do the two sides that haven't got the plasticine. Oh, God. <laughs> right, I'm going to clean it up quick. That's the first time I've ever spilled any. <laughs> wasn't too bad. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where was I? This side. It's because I'm trying to rush it. I shouldn't rush it. No need to rush it. Carefully do the sides that have got this plasticine in there. 
trying not to spread the plasticine everywhere. That looks good. Drop more for this side. Okay, what are we doing for time? Loads of time. Right, so wipe off the excess. So I'm not going to put the second application on yet, I'll, uh, I'll do that just before the final build. So I'll just, uh, just give it all a wipe down again, just to remove any excess. the second coat now because obviously I've got to take all this plasticine out so I might as well do it now. Keep changing your mind. No. Let's use this paper towel. No, let's not. Let's do it the normal way. Yeah, I might as well. Might as well finish it now because I've got to take, take the plasticine out to assemble it. I don't want to have to faff about putting it back in again. to both pieces before wiping it down again just to give it a chance to soak in so you see how quick this method is not everybody will necessarily like the finish um, personally I, I don't like a high gloss finish on an instrument <coughs> that's just my preference before I spill that again. <laughs> okay, so, final wipe down. with that okay so let me get rid of this oil soaked tissue first okay so now I'm going to remove the plasticine I'm going to push it through to the back in each case okay that's nice Okay. Right, that's that. We use a little piece of dowel to push it out of these uh, tuning peg holes. I think I probably will use that method again. Okay. Just use a bit of 
bit of tissue to wipe the rest of that out. Right, so assembly. So I want my string holder with the strings already attached, my little dowel. That's that one there. Okay. So neck, oh, didn't take the out of the nut slot. That's to see. So, neck through the body. And string holder on the end. I've already oiled that string holder as well. Put my little pin through. Down. There we go. Okay, so pegs, where did I put my pegs? There's my pegs. So I, re I redid the numbers on the end in uh, silver sharpie so I could see it a bit better. Uh, so what did I say? It was three, two, and one. Okay, string up. Okay, string one. Tangled up, of course. <coughs> right, where's my nut? Okay. String one. Goes through there. Okay, a few issues getting that to overlap the right way. There we go. Okay, string two. Which is this one. Cut off the excess of this string, these strings once I've, I'm happy with the amount of windings on the tuning peg. So I'm not going to do it at this stage, but there we go. String three, and the top peg. Windings further up the peg. Okay, so that's all the strings on. Sort of kind of lined up. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So now I want my bridge and saddle. So that's all the strings on. Now I've got uh, 
two instruments here that are strung up to a couple of the standard uh, tunings for San Shin Shamisen. So let me just turn that camera around that way. Uh, angle up a little bit. How's that? Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, so as I said, I've got two instruments here that I've uh, just tuned to uh, two of the standard tunings for Sanjin and Chamisen. So we've got DGD. That one's DGD. And this one's slightly higher. That's CFC. Now normally the, the Sanjin is tuned to CFC. Um, but at this stage, I'm just going to tune it to the lower tuning of DGD, just in case the whole thing explodes. <laughs> so somewhere here, I've got a tuner. There we go. So I'm going to I'm going to match the tuning to this instrument, DGD. It's not far off, actually. Okay. So, time is running away from me again, isn't it always the way? It's going to be a bit awkward to attach my tuner onto this actually, it's something I didn't think of when I was building it. Uh, okay, let's just try that. Saw so kind of. Okay. Actually, I'm going to tune the middle string first. That's F. Just check this. Sorry, I was, I was, uh, I was being daft. I'm not tuning it to DGD. I'm tuning it to CFC, <laughs> which is the lower tuning. So that should be an F. string is stretching. Okay, so C. And C as well. Okay, that's that's it's close, it's not not really there yet. Okay, so let me just check again. C ish. It's F sharp. That's a low C. We just get that F sharp down to an F. Well, that's a very fine adjustment. That's more or less.
less in June. So uh, that's this one more or less finished. Apart from obviously I've still got to make the tuning pegs, although it, it looks all right with those, they're not traditional. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much done. Let me get a thin pick. So I can't play the thing, but just to give you an idea of sound. around with it but that's uh, that's pretty much done and so is time so okay so that's the end of this one uh, more or less There's a few few bits and pieces still to do then I'll be moving on to the chamisen and getting that one done so there won't be many more episodes probably one more so in the meantime please look after yourselves look after each other we will see you soon peace out <laughs>